to you users of uh, drive mode dashboard and the remote tech one there's been a few updates uh, both on the remote tech one and uh, mostly on drive mode dashboard uh, which has confused people in um, how to set up drive mode dashboard to work properly with the remote so i'll just show you very quickly how to set it up all you got to do is when everything's connected you are in the map profile so you can move around um, but you can't zoom so just and you can't go back to the current position so just go into the drama dashboard settings just pan down to uh, remote controller settings because now that is a general setting it's not specifically for each uh, each type of controller so you can start by doing setting the global um, buttons which you want to be the two lower ones so just click on the button menu focus or plus button and the uh, back button it's going to be the minus button okay that's it it's going to, you're going to use long press when you actually use it but now you just recorded which button is going to do the long press so go to map view the first four rows on the map view are all okay that's the arrow buttons like we have set it up here so you go down to follow toggle and this is a new thing that you should um, you should uh, be aware of just if you want to secure that you can go back to your current position in the map with the controller set the follow toggle and record that to double click arrow left it's going to show up with a key code 40 and uh, a quick explanation here the dmd2 does not use double clicks but our controller does so when you double click the controller it sends it's interpreted inside the controller and it sends a single click of the letter l from the keyboard and from dmd or any other apps uh, view it looks like a single click is coming not a double click but a single click with a different code than a single click on the controller so just do that just um, uh, do as i say put follow toggle to double click um, arrow left and the result is key code 40. now you want to you can set up touch toggle so you can clear out the bottom menu and uh, and lock the screen for touching you can set that to for example double click arrow down which will give you key code 42 and then you set up zoom which is plus zoom in and zoom out for minus and that's the same key codes as you use for the long press in the main uh, global settings um, but now it's single it's single presses okay single clicks so it's key code 157 and 156 that's it for the map we can go into uh, rollbook view and for example set uh, rollbook up for uh, arrow up down for arrow down increase total arrow right increase uh, decrease total arrow left and that's it it's all you need really for now you can do more advanced stuff but that's up to you okay so if you now long press on the arrow on the plus button you will have menu focus and you can now switch between the different uh, tabs uh, let's go to the uh, app tab uh, the map tab first and a long press again on the plus button will take you out of the menu uh, system and into your map and now you can pan you can zoom and double click will take you back to the position okay and long press minus button should also take you back to the position this has been a bit on and off how it works uh, it's not always done that in drive mode dashboard so but uh, that's why I, I added the suggestion of using uh, double click on uh, arrow left because double click is actually now changing your uh, rotation as well as going back to uh, to um, your current position okay so now it's north up this here is uh, follow direction up um, direction of travel 
and this is following the group. So you just switch between them, okay? Long press again on plus button, go over to uh, Roadbook, long press again to get out of bottom menu, and now you can scroll with arrows and adjust the trip master with the arrow right and left. Okay? That's it. Hope it works out for all of you. Thanks.